Hey yo, blue face baby, I. Right. It's me and Rock. We here with Bootleg Kev. Okay. Hey. What kind of name is that, bro? We're rolling. Bootleg Kev podcast special guest here. My friend Blueface and his lady. Yeah, right. Krishan Rock. Hey. Welcome. Good to see you guys in good spirits. <laughs> yeah. Right. Uh, Boy, talk about get ice. I mean, it's kind of his thing, right? No. Yeah. I- <laughs> uh, yeah. So you guys are are together, correct? We are together. You guys, are, I feel like we always see when you guys. What are you gonna say? Yeah. I- <laughs> what? It's so- All right. mm-hmm. What? See, here we go again. What? What? I'm just trying to keep up what's going on with y'all. That has you in it. Answer the question. What's wrong? He said, yeah, all right. That's why I don't want to do anything. Why? He's just playing. Like, he's just playing. Answer the question for real. You want us to be dry in the interview? Right. Like, How dry? Chill. Like, she doesn't want to be no humor in this. It's not humor. It's a question. Answer I answered it. it. You did it. You said, yeah, all right. Technically, an answer. Right. Technically a yes. And that's my answer for every question you got. So what are we talking about now? You want to be like me so bad, don't you? No, it's just what are we doing here? Get your own catchphrase. Well, good to see you guys. Krishan, how are you doing? Great. You're doing good? How are you dealing with um, all the like kind of like newfound stardom? Because you are kind of like every other day viral as hell. You know what I'm saying? Your music career is taking off. You're a TV star now. How do you deal with all the kind of being the, the uh, I guess, between the two of y'all, you might, some might say you're more popping than blue now. Hell yeah. I don't know. I don't care. You don't care? No. It's cool. Yeah. That's it. Is it hard to deal with, like, everybody in y'all's business all the time, though? It's whatever. No, she don't care. I feel, what? She put them all up in the fucking business. What? Because you be capping, fronting, all types of shit, so. Mm. <laughs> well, at least you guys, I mean, look, it's good to see you guys back together, you know? It felt like for a while there, uh, you know, Super Bowl weekend seemed kind of rough for y'all. <laughs> I know, right? It was a rough what? week for me, for sure. You were getting bags, I'm sure. Super Bowl week. I saw you like at every party in Arizona. <laughs> yeah, no. For free. He came to my party. <laughs> it was a good time. You all like that? I played that have fun. Vibes be doing it. I work every weekend. So one weekend I get off. Yeah, what? It was time. Super Bowl weekend. The game was lit. How's the pregnancy going? Cool. Good question, you yeah. Why are you trying to say good question? What are y'all trying to go viral for? I'm just curious. You are like, turning up like you ain't. I can turn up. Like, what's up? I'm not drinking. So you're not drinking anymore because of the baby? Yeah. Still down to throw the paws, though. Huh? Yeah, you ain't drinking, but you're fighting. Yeah. Not that far along. How are you dealing with, uh, with the pregnancy, though? That's like a big, uh, there's a lot going on in your body, I'm sure. Mm. I'm excited. I don't know. I don't have nothing bad about it to say. When are we getting the uh, the ultrasound so we know the baby sex? Or are you gonna kind of just let it let it ride and just be surprised when it happens? No, I was. We we're filming uh, season two of Crazy in Love, so that's gonna be on there. We're gonna do this whole. Oh, so that's a part of the new season. Yeah. Shout out to the Zeus Network. Yeah. Putting on. <laughs> so that's that's the catch. But Help. other than that. Help me understand, like, y'all two, obviously, we see a lot of dysfunction. How much of the dysfunction is for entertainment purposes? And how much of it is, like, because you guys are pretty dysfunctional in terms of what we see. Well, the dysfunction just becomes from, like, we do business together and we together. So it's like, y'all don't know half the time which one is going on. Right. And we don't know half the time which one is going on. So it's like, <laughs> that's the dysfunction. No, it's the fact but that it we works. don't give a fuck. I don't give a yeah, fuck. Yeah, yeah. No, we really don't give a fuck about what y'all think. But right. like when we going through our things and we don't get what's going on. You know, so to her, it might seem like I'm tripping off her taking a picture or whatnot. Right. Right. 
But to me, it's more like I'm on some business shit. Like it's not a, it's it's not if it's not like a beneficial look. I, I personally don't agree with well, it. Well, technically, you're are you her manager? Yeah, yeah. Like I signed her, so she like my. So art, she signed so to you as an artist, yeah, and she's so, your lady. Exactly. And she's your your baby mom. <laughs> exactly. You're soon to be baby more mom. Complicated. So it's like when people like say like, oh, she's complicated. More, she's you more lit than you. Complicated. Look, so when people Boy. be like, she's more lit than you, it's like. That's a good thing. Because she signed thing. to you. Yeah. Bro. Yeah, right. <laughs> you think I, I put bring somebody to cap them and be like, I, I want her to get to where I'm at. Like, so let me figure. So, so this is the thing, though, right? Because if we think about her as an artist, because she has music and she is signed to you, wouldn't, because I saw you did get a little, you got kind of mad about her taking a picture with Rick Ross yeah. and communicating with little Baby on some yeah. big bro shit. Yeah. As an artist, wouldn't it be <laughs> That's so annoying? Like, well, wouldn't it be smart for her to network with Rick Ross and Lil Baby <laughs> for her career? Hell no. Why not? Because they're not gonna. Well, he said, not why gonna, not? <laughs> it's not. It's not gonna be real networking. You get what I'm saying? It's gonna be like. Because if I'm managing an artist and they can chop it up with Rick Ross or chop it up with Lil Baby, who's one of the hard, hottest artists in the world, I would encourage that. Not when they're trying to fuck. That's what it's he's trying to say. With you, females. So do you think they're trying to fuck? He says it. I just be like, I don't. She she knows. She she like to play around. So like little baby chopping Wait, it up with you, calling you big bro or his big bro, which you didn't like. Obviously, I saw the tweets. Yeah. No, that was the that was the throw off. That's not what he was telling her while he was in front of her type shit. You know? So when he was in front of you, was it like more like what's good? Or was it like, hey, I see what you're doing. You're killing it. That's what he was like. That's what I figured, right? Yeah. Like, she lying. She didn't tell you. He was uh, like, oh, you sexy. Oh, I want you around. Oh, what? you got potential. Come to the studio. Take, I, I, what's your number? Let's lock. Like, hey, she, hold on, hold she, on, hold on. She, she, I don't know if you like cuz or not, but she's trying like, to water wait, it down. I'm not watering it down. We got an interview. You just, yeah, like, which, yeah. It wasn't that. But, Trust me. Babe, why are you taking everything so live? Chill out. They should live. You try to water it down. Water what down. And, okay, it's cool. If she networking... Here, let me help you out here. There you go. If she networking, it's, it's by all means, it's cool. Right. Network. But once there's money being talked about and business that's being exchanged, now it's unprofessional. So if Lil Baby just invites her to the studio and you're not there, you're, you're not okay with that? Uh, no, I'm okay with that. Okay. I'm okay with that. I better have a song. Yeah, but it better be it better be something transpiring. It better not be like. What if they're just listening to beats and they're chopping it up about like her career, or whatever, whatever, and like a song. Well, then I would have to be there. Anything okay. with has to do with her career, I have to be there to speak in her, her best, you know, do best you, interest. Do you feel like your relation, <laughs> oh your personal relationship, could cloud your managerial relationship? I don't know, because it's almost to the point where it's like. If I wasn't a rapper, that would make sense. Right. But I am, which means all I got to do is take her where I go. Yeah. Rolling out, just take her. All right, do your set. Uh, show, okay, do your set. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like it doesn't. Like, if I wasn't a rapper, then it will be like, okay, I'm getting in the way. Because I have nothing to offer her from the artist side of things. Right. I'm blocking her from somebody else putting her on they set. And some, you know what I'm saying? So, no, I don't think it affects you also got to understand, too, like, she is on fire right now. So if you're Rick Ross and you see Krishan Rock at the Super Bowl, <laughs> you're going to be like, oh, shit, let's get a flick. No, you're not. Why not? Do you think Rick, Rock, Rick Ross does that? Did, I actually Great. do think that because Rick Ross is a pretty, like, like mellow dude. I feel like he was probably high as fuck at the Super Bowl. <laughs> I was like, oh, shit, you're yeah, the girl yeah, on the yeah, internet yeah, wilding. Y'all being nice. That's crazy. Work. If y'all think Rick Ross walk up to bitches that's famous <laughs> and say, can I get a picture of you? Oh, you're high right now. You think that's what Rick Ross does? What do you think? It was a whole list of people we took What do you think happened? <laughs> what do you think happened, Blue? Honestly, there, so honestly, really... I, I'm not there, so I can't say what I think. This was, at, this was after all the Super Bowl, right? Off of... All I can speak on is what what I think that they're thinking. Mm -hmm. They never seen her in person, and obviously, when you see her in person, she bad as hell. So it's like, oh shit, it's her, right? And it's like, that's cool, but you also like, no, you can't just don't be unprofessional about it. Mm -hmm. Don't go up to her and be like, yo, I, I think we can do business and let's let's do this and let's do that. 
Let's do that. Like that's like me walking up to to one of the little baby artists, Fo Two Doug, and I'm like, Yo, bro, I think you dope artist. You got potential. Look, I got this much money for you. Let's let's figure out how we can keep you around and make you big. And it, little baby gonna be like, Bro, what the fuck are you doing? This right, is my right. artist. Like, what? Why would you? You want to do a song or something? Great. Tell them to so, contact, send the song, make it professional. How about this? What if her networking with Little Baby equals eventually her getting a feature from Little Baby, which would be big for her career? No. No. <laughs> but you want to know why? Okay. I'm, tell me. I'm, I'm just listening. Because that's not his character. How many females do you know Little Baby to do music with? I don't know. Okay. How many famous rappers do you think Little Baby has had sex with? I don't know. I don't want to speculate on another Which man's. Do you think <laughs> on is, an, another man's dick? You know what I'm saying? Okay. Fuck his dick. We're talking about. I just asked you how, how many, many females have you seen him to do music with? I can't think of many. Okay. Why do you think that is? I don't know. Well, that's probably not his thing, right? That's fair. Is she the, the hottest musical artist out right now, as a female? No. So does that make sense to you? No, yeah, on, bro. Yeah, it's, fuck it's, both it's, of y'all. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's not rocket science. Not it's not bitch. rocket science. So two yeah, plus two go. equals four. Disrespect to me again. Who's in more? My face. Who's more jealous between He's the two of y'all? Fuck is crazy. <laughs> who's he is. who's more jealous between the two you know of y'all? Because what... both of y'all are pretty jealous. Look, you want to know what's crazy about the whole situation? She came up with this rule. Okay, what's the that? Word? I can't work with any female artist, mm-hmm. and she won't work with any male artist. Is that well, the what, rule? Well, it was right. She came up with this rule. Did you come up with this rule? After the fact of something that happened. It's not the best rule. It's a terrible rule. Because but now it works. Now it works. No, like, but, I, but I say he, he low key want the now same like, thing. Oh, so what you even talking to her for if you came up with this weird ass rule? Y'all got to get rid of that rule, man. <laughs> tell her. You are like, tell her. I got her. paid 40000 from a female to do a song. She talking about give it back. Because Ooh. he was... But, cause, cause he I was said... A, you, we was beefing that could, weekend. I he was never. being weird. He didn't take me to the session. He didn't take me to the video shoot. None of that. He was being weird. So he's being weird with a feature. It made me like... It, what? That's that's what what happened. We was beefing. You didn't invite me nowhere when you was doing it. Right. And then you was making like you doing something way more important than hanging out with me. Like it was so weird. What does that have to do with the nah, world? Nah, it's like <laughs> certain things he do. It, it get under Distraction. my skin. Shut the fuck up. Mm. The fuck. Well, I'd like to say it's really good to see both of y'all without a bottle of Hennessy around. That's great. Do you feel like Krishan, like you guys were like becoming a little dependent on the bottle for a while? I don't feel like everywhere I would see y'all, there'd be a fucking. No, I just like the bottle. You just like Hennessy? Yeah. Like Hennessy. A little too much? No. Not no. dealing with him. No. <laughs> She's like, I need it. Shit. Yo, I saw you linked with Glorilla. Um, and it's funny because uh, I'm sure you saw the viral clip on my podcast. Yeah, she's pretty cool. That's... When we talked about you and your behavior, <laughs> and she said it was quite normal. It is. Well, can you? Because there was. You're a... not from the hood or something. That's why. Listen, Krishan, I need you to take me back <laughs> to when you stole the G Wagon. Was it a G wagon? We was beefing yeah. again. G wagon. And you, he, you listen. What's going through your mind? Mama did you? Didn't you write? He was ignoring me. You wrote like your name on the wall in blood. Yes, to leave him a note, like didn't let him know who got his car, so he don't think. Right. But I'm ignoring him. Like, so you go to his house, up. you break in. I don't break in. The glass already broken in from the first time I. So you in. get in from the last time you broke the glass. Yeah. Okay. You cut yourself open? Why is he doing all that? No, no, I'm just saying sounds crazy. Because this is this is no way. Hey, y'all on me talking about some. So why are you mad at the picture? Why are you mad at this? <laughs> the I, we didn't already went through my fucking world war. Wait, wait, wait. So listen. Oh so God. you cut yourself open to write a note? We doing all that shit. You think I'm gonna deal with all of this? Smoking like that. Put the blunt down. You getting on my nerves? Like, God, <laughs> hey, you think like Ross is just walking like, up the table? Bro, he called me DJ Head he again, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ. Bullet hair. Bullet hair. Bullet hair. Yes. What? You think we Ross is just coming and ask my bitch for a picture and she didn't did all this to me? <laughs> I don't know. Bro. <laughs> take his <laughs> fucking car. I, go just, take his fucking car. inspired by how, like, I think, know, go I take think his a fucking, lot of motherfuckers are like. Fuck? I actually think that, like, your girl is a cultural, like, she's like cultural phenom right now. So yeah, I think Rick Ross is the high as fuck shit. at the Super Bowl. Bro, I do think it is the realm of possibilities fuck. for Ross to be like, oh, shit. Yeah, right. That's I think it's possible. Like, I don't know about the little baby shit. That seems honestly, a little bit more I would, suspect. I would think Rock, Ross is more cooler than that. 
I think Ross is a pretty normal I, dude. I think he's cooler than that, though. Anyway, so can we get back to... <laughs> That's not cooler. Than, oh, you taking pictures with niggas? Like, what the fuck? Look at females weird for doing that. Like, oh, can I get it? Oh, yeah. No, it's 2023 now. You got to let shit go. This bitch is weird, right? Okay. But now if a man do it, it's not weird? How? I don't know. Oh, I don't think it's weird. Oh, now you don't know. I don't think it's weird. If I met Nicki Minaj, I'd want a photo with her. You're different. It's a different setting. No, like, like it's like an industry type thing. If I'm at the Super Bowl and we're in a suite and like I see somebody from my favorite TV show, I'm probably gonna be like, oh shit. And I don't I'm, think it was like that. We're on a suite. I don't know. How did you tell us that happened? Did he just walk past? Was it No, everybody the game is over and everybody coming out their suites. So if in it's part of the area. hallway, you have to pass. Yeah. Everybody just standing there, but everybody that's standing there is like famous or whatever. So he was just walking through. And then he was like, oh, shit, hey. Like, Can we get back cool? to I don't know. you cutting yourself you open? You like that, babe. I don't want to talk about this. Uh, Rashad, you, you ain't saying he, he said, hey. Um, yeah, hold on, hold on, because she didn't say he said, hey. Um, he said, you hey, he can just... I get a picture? He really was like, hey, can I get a picture? That sounds like something Ross would do. He said, hey, he walked back. Like, he walked past me. Yeah. Then he, he was like, oh, shit, let me get a picture and walk back. I the, swear to God. The biggest boss. Oh. What? That's what happened. What the yeah. fuck is you talking about? Why is you underestimating Bootleg me? That's care. some That's weird shit. I'm not underestimating. Okay, then stop what doing that. What that got to do with you? Stop doing that. I'm talking about him. Not you. I saw the picture. The picture was uh, it was cute. It was it was innocent. It wasn't that much. <clears throat> it was fine. To me, at least. But I mean, I'm that yeah, I'm a different type of nigga. <laughs> you gotta stop right. touching this shit, man. He's I, nigga. I'm, oh, a, I'm a different type of nigga, Kev. Like you don't see Rihanna in no picture with nobody like that, right? If you saw Rihanna, you would you wouldn't get the photo. Hell no! I'm, I'm that's just not me. I don't know. I, I could never see myself like, hey, can we get a pic? Like, but that's, that's just, what happened. That's just strange. Well, a grown man to do. I think you guys need to get over this like uh, jealousy shit because both of y'all are popping. I don't personally don't give a fuck. I don't give Your a face fuck is either. tattooed it's on her like, neck. It's kind of like this, okay? Like. If somebody's paying so much close attention to you, after a while, you're going to be like, well, hold the fuck up. Let me start looking at you and, like, sizing you up. And, like, but do you also think that, like, if your face is tattooed on her neck twice, people understand that she's with you? For sure. Obviously, the fuck not. If they're walking up talking about, yo, let's, oh, you look good. Like, come be around. And obviously, no. No. What are you talking about? Do you feel? I think that makes them want to fuck her more. Jesus Christ. Well. Oh, she's also <laughs> pregnant. Do you understand why I'm tripping now, Kev? Hmm. Does that work better for me now? Boy, <laughs> why is you hating that? Black nah, black nigga, nigga, nigga getting that, nigga getting out of pregnant, bitch, Kev. Nah. Okay, well, <sighs> back to what we were talking about. Me and Glorilla were talking. Me and Glorilla were talking about you, Krishan, and I told her the story about what the day you took the G wagon and did the the blood you keep note. Your phone for? You ask you a question. I asked you a question. So here come the jealous thing. Okay? Do you no, guys have each other's? You hey, do you guys have you each other's have code to your, your phones? Say that. Do you have each other's codes to the phone? No, he just know my code. <laughs> what the like, fuck is wrong? Because <laughs> he's weird like that. I'm like, telling you. Yo, be like, did you see the shitty grin? Fucking crazy. <laughs> he gave me that, that was like you. That was you, bro. That you was know. you. <laughs> That was you. Okay, so the rule is you have her code. You, she can't have your code. Get money. I like that. Is that the rule? Like, if she wanted the code to your phone, would you give it to her? Or you're like, nah, you got it. <laughs> What's wrong with God? What do you mean? <laughs> you keep laughing. What's wrong with God? Because he, he know what he's trying to do right now. What am I doing? I'm just asking. I'm not doing it. It's an honest question. I answer it. Nah. Because you could change your code at any time, right? Like, my code today might not be my code tomorrow because I'm a high-profile rapper and I need to make sure my security's on point. No, he's just doing shit, so... Nah, I just... Want it, I out. Nah, I just... Nah, that's what it is. I just don't agree with it. Then why are you in my phone, then? Like I told you earlier, it's only... I only get one... <sighs> I only get one bitch to care about that I sleep with every night. Hey, you care, you feel me? Almost called me head again. Yeah, he did. You feel me, You got one, right? Yeah. My wife. I'm married. Night, right? Yeah, I'm married, yes. Hey. You're not married and you sure not You're gonna like be hard on her, right? <clears throat> yeah, you're gonna be for what? Gonna be that's right. just that that's, weird shit. You go, that's bro. It's unfair. Mm. Do you guys foresee a future of marriage between the two of y'all? 
Boom me answer and say no. You don't believe in marriage. So no. So you don't believe in marriage? Because you've never been married before, right, Blue? No, hell no. no. So it's just something you're just not like. I just don't see the point, really. Yeah. Doesn't make the Yeah, I, I, I respect it. But I'm getting married though. You're getting married to somebody. Mm. Yeah, she'll probably find somebody. Will it be hard to find somebody if your ex's face is tattooed on your neck? <laughs> I'm just I'm just curious. Because I, I feel like once you somebody. get the tattoo, it, you, right it should be him, him, right? It should be. That wouldn't even make sense. Hmm. What? Nothing. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what, what, I didn't say what somebody. plans she would, we would have for that. I don't know. What? With all the tattoos. That's why I'd be confused. I'd be like... How are you confused? Like... Are you gonna get a Krishan tattoo? Are we or do you have one? He's not breaking up. Like, why are you? I ain't saying he's breaking up. He's Just saying, shut up. he's saying, how you gonna find somebody with your ex tattooed on your neck? Already found you. I'm cool. She's already got it, man. Now she just has to convince you to walk down the aisle. I'm not convincing nobody to do shit. We got That's not what you wanna do. We got a wedding. Yeah. I just don't care for the paperwork. Hey, we got to interrupt the interview, man. Hey, shout out to MyBookie, man. Make sure you go to MyBookie.ag. NFL season, it's over. But at MyBookie, the opportunities to win, they're not over, baby. They don't stop ever, all right? Whether you want to make some extra or just make the games more exciting, MyBookie is going to give you the most for your money with their deposit bonuses. Now, listen, if you sign up right now, go to MyBookie.ag, use that promo code BOOTLEG, you're going to get a welcome bonus up to $1,000. And on top of that, March Madness is on the way, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. That college basketball tournament is coming. They're going to give you a free $150,000 March Madness bracket contest entry. Imagine if you win one hundred and fifty dollars and you didn't have to put no money up. Crazy. You got to go to mybookie.ag, sign up with that promo code BOOTLEG right now. $1,000 deposit bonus. If you put $1,000 in, they're going to give you another $1,000, all right? And of course, so much to bet on. With my bookie, you could do NCAA, NBA, NHL, UFC, boxing. What are, is Jake Paul going to win? I don't know. But you could, you could put some money on Jake Paul. I would. All right? Of course, they also got their weekly online blackjack tournaments. So much roulette. I mean, slots. So much. With so many brands to choose from, trust my bookie. I've been rocking with them for over 10 years, goddammit. And they're so easy to get your money out of, so easy to make money with. They got the best, like, simplest platform to use, the best props. Man, trust me. Bet anything, anytime, anywhere with my bookie. MyBookie.ag, promo code bootleg. Sign up. Also, shout out to our family at Hardeen. Hardeen, Las Vegas. Yes, you see them. I was just there in Vegas yesterday. This is the best place I've ever been to in terms of dispensaries. I've been to probably hundreds of these things. And the experience at Hardeen is like nowhere else. The customer service, the selection of premium cannabis, the experience as a customer that you get when you walk into the building in Las Vegas is bar none the best. It's just the best, man. They are the best. We got so much going on this weekend. They're sponsoring the Rolling Stone Party on Friday, Super Bowl weekend. Fabulous Thursday, Offset Friday, Meek Saturday. It's a lot going on with Hardeen. You got to follow him at Hardeen underscore Las Vegas. Right now, shoot him a follow on Instagram. While you're at it, go to their website, HardeenLasVegas.com. So much fly gear, so much fly weed. What are we talking about, baby? Shout out to Hardeen, man. That's the family, man. Go, if you're in Vegas, pull up on him, man. Hardeen Las Vegas. Okay, take me to your guys. It's like, you guys are at the crib. What is the show you guys binge watch on Netflix together? Like, are you guys, like, hanging out, watching TV, like, throwing on fucking Breaking Bad or something? That what's Hulu movie? Show? Yeah, what's the little it's show? Like, I don't know. What's it called? That would have been a good show. I don't know. Let me look at it. It's like it's Wu-Tang. <laughs> the Wu-Tang show on Hulu? Yeah. Yeah. You like Wu-Tang Clan, Krishan? Is it with that? You don't know shit about that. Who? Davies is in it. Oh, yeah. I, I thought you was talking about the lead one. You don't know the shit about the real Luke yeah, things, man. Do you feel like uh, you're more focused on the TV shit or the music shit right now? Because if you like put some real records together, you know you got you got everything else going. I mean, I have records. I just didn't drop them. Not in a rush. Not in a rush. What about you, Blue? Because obviously you're a very successful artist. Many yeah, plaques. I'm more, I'm more like... Are you kind of off the music shit? 
I'm no, off it. Music. I'm off it, but I'm on it. Like I still make shit just for like kicks and giggles. But I don't know. I'm trying to find my way in the background. Talk, right. Like, got this restaurant thing I'm about to try. Shit, and if that work out, I'm gonna right be in the like bed that. every day. <sighs> what happened to uh, your restaurant in Santa Clarita? I saw it got vandalized. Oh yeah, I don't even know. I ain't even because it's there. been closed for a while, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why somebody would want to vandalize an abandoned building, but right. Uh, yeah, nah, but we about to turn it into um, the King of Crabs. I'm about to partner up with them. So you're going to have like a, it's the, kind of the same type of vibe, seafood and shit? Yeah, it's going to be seafood boil more though, like more high With end. the bags? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So you're kind of like off the rap shit, low-key. You're trying to make all, yeah, the, yeah, all, the, all the other revenue streams pop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to push her to, do, to fill in the blanks, like, you know? Are you helping her with like records? Because <clears throat> obviously you're not an artist first, right? You decided to kind of be an artist after the fame. Is that fair to say? In terms of making music, or were you always making music? Like, were you making music uh, prior to meeting him? Mm-mm. I wasn't really doing it. No, we started, like, right when I met her. Because I signed her as a musical artist. So she wasn't really, like, even, like, really fucking with music in no type of way. And then I was like, you should do it. Like, then we just started going crazy ever since. You helping her write? Sometimes. Yeah. But she, she more, more than likely, she'll go in there and just fill it out. And then I'll just fill in the blanks. Uh, you got to link up with Gorilla. How was that conversation? She's great. That's got to be a song. Y'all got to do a record. Yeah, we are. She's cool. I just be having fun. Yeah, yeah. I fuck with that. See, that's a cool connection. Why it can't be like that, kid? Why it got to be a certain type of... Mm-hmm. But if she does a song with Lil Baby, it's a big deal. It could change her career. And if she does a song with Lil Real, it could change her career. But... <laughs> at, the, at the cost of what expense? Some pussy is not worth her doing a song with Lil Baby. No, I... Okay. All things aside, let's say let's not even say little baby. Let's say yeah, say somebody else. Let's at say the Drake. Ex, at the expense of some pussy is not worth no. What does that mean? What do you mean? What does that mean? Are you saying that she would have to have sex with the artist to get the feature? Do you think is that what you're saying? Yeah, at some point, yeah. I don't think that's the case with a lot of guys, man. Uh, it's, I don't know. Yeah. You, that's why you stay doing this thing and I stay doing this thing, all right? Because you, you well, clearly, you, fuck you don't know nothing. You don't know nothing <laughs> that's going on. Features? You don't know nothing that's going on. Huh? You fuck you no, I don't even do songs with females what like are you that. Saying? So like Drake, I'm saying there's a lot of unreleased songs mm-hmm. between males and females mm-hmm. that had sex, and these songs never were released. They were that's never. What I'm saying. Why weren't they released? We will never know. Mm. All right. What is something that you've learned from being managed by Whack and kind of having like Whack in your corner that you are applying to your label and to your management style? Shit, just go all in with this shit for real. Like, don't be afraid to be the bad guy or or look like you give a fuck. Just let that shit, you know, let yeah. her shine for real. Right. So I'm gonna work for her even if. We go viral for the weirdest mm-hmm. shit. It's she's the woman. I'ma look back. Regardless. Mm-hmm. She can slap the fuck out of me right now. <laughs> I'ma look back, right? You gonna laugh at me? If I hit her back, you gonna not laugh at me and like be weird. Right. 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 It, but it's gonna go viral for her regardless. Are you guys like I was gonna say like just in general with like the physical shit, cause it does feel like you guys are if from the outside looking in, it feels like an unhealthy relationship, a toxic relationship, right? Like, um, do you think that a lot of that was alcohol fueled? Like some of the shit we see online where you guys are like really like scrapping, you know what I'm saying? Is a lot of that alcohol fueled or is it like, is this like some normal no, shit? No, sometimes it won't be alcohol. What'd you say? No. Yeah, sometimes we'd be sober. So I don't think it's alcohol. But do you think, do you think eventually that could be like, a, a situation because you know all it takes is the wrong person to see something somebody ends up in jail or we haven't fought in a minute we don't yeah. do that just work on not doing it right just, that's fair I mean if we gonna keep doing it you know everything is is, is business salvageable you know what I'm saying right so we, like, just like we do the business we gotta get along and you guys have this TV show now that's like a smash exactly like you know so it's like, is the TV show something that you feel like you got to turn up on when it comes to like when the cameras are around for entertainment yeah, he, he, purposes? He used to act weird to me. 
Nah, I just try to be honestly. I I like to joke a lot, so I just be funny, goofy type. She, I, don't know, I feel up. like that. I feel like I'm like that off camera, but she, I don't know. Not. When the camera get on, she like. Oh my god! My you jokes are not joke. funny. You my jokes joke. are not funny on camera, you but off camera she be cracking up. Why are you joking? Like it's not funny. Yeah. He know my reaction. That's what's the funny part. Like, no, it's not funny. You think I know your reaction? Obviously, you do. No, I really don't. You surprise me every time. Like, she reacts different to, like, she's unpredictable. Hey, are you, is it safe to say, Krishan, you can deadlift more than your, your man? I saw the video at, at Bradley Martin's gym, and it looked like she got you. Yeah. I did? See, that's another female thing that they're like, you know what I'm saying? She'll get the best of that situation. Because mm. I lifted more than her. You lifted more? I, I, I. She didn't even lift what she li- lifted. She almost lifted it. Right? I did, though. Uh, because I'm a man. Right? She's a female. She didn't even finish the lift. It's hip, I, hip, it hooray. Was, She's so strong. She was close, because though. You could tell I just put it down. I only put it down because I didn't want to be sore in the morning. I could have lifted. Well, because you're like a former athlete, right? Like, what was like, what's your athletic background? Because we always see these pictures that go viral of you, like, back when you were in college, or you was like, what all, like, athletically did you used to do before you? I went track and then played with this pro league, like, trained with them. Never really followed through with it, like, for the games and stuff. Right. I just started picking up on this music shit and it just, I don't know. But I could go back to it. Uh, is this all new new ink on your head? Yeah. How new is the uh, the crosses and the, I don't feel like I have Probably not. Probably like a month ago. Painful? Yeah. Any tattoos you regret yet? Yeah. <laughs> Which ones? The one that's on my ankle with the devil horns. Oh, devil horns. Damn. Yeah, shout out to you know, shout out to God. It's not devil horns. It is. What is it? She said it. What is it? It is. It's a Benjamin head with a fucking devil horns. What are those? What is horns? What are those things that you? That's cat hanging? ears? They're not cat ears. The fuck? Yeah, they are cat ears. Actually, they just might be. Have you guys started uh, kicking around any ideas for any names for the kid? What? Names for the baby Names. yet? Babe, what do you want? You never answer none of the questions like that. I don't know. I don't really. It's like a female thing for real. If it's a boy, you can't hear anyone. It could be a junior. Shit. Junior? Blueface Junior? Blueface Junior. <laughs> Jonathan. Jonathan Junior? Could I name my kid Blueface? Please don't. Please, God, don't. Do not do that. Bro. You have that kid. <laughs> I think I would do that. I think. Can we do that? Please say no. <laughs> Blue face Porter. Nah, mm, he'll go up. Can we, uh, she she gonna do it for sure. No, I'm not. Oh yeah. I'm you cannot not have no I'm kid running bad. around here with their government name bad. being Blueface. Bad. That poor child. Bad. Why Don't I can't? Bad. You could do it. Bad. It's done. No, it's not. <clears throat> The fuck? I named you. No, you didn't. Mm. My mom did. <laughs> My name's Krishan. Your actual name is Krishan. Yeah. Yes. That's not your fear. You just added rock. Good job. Uh, did you end up ever? You what? You should do that. The blue face thing? Mm. Don't do that. Bro. I'm gonna do it. Do not do that. It's a bad look. Uh, I was gonna ask you. Or Royal Blue. Royal Blue? Royal's a dope name. <laughs> hey, no, Royal would be a hard name. name. Royal. <laughs> That's it, a joke. <laughs> I, I was going to name her after Krishan. So it's a girl. If it was a girl. I think you just told us it's a, it's a girl. Nuh-uh. Find out for sure on season two of Crazy in Love. Right. Where she will <laughs> we'll find out that it's a girl. <laughs> she just let that slip on accident. <laughs> no, I did. I want a girl. Zeus Network. Download it on your care. phone. Zeus Network. Download it on your phone. How is the pay for doing a TV show with Zeus? <laughs> is it solid? Like, do they take care of you guys? Because you kind take of, care of you guys. Krishan, you're kind of like carrying the network. You know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah, she <laughs> is on her back. Because <laughs> you were on the, the other shit. And I now, carry everything I touch on my back. For yeah. sure. She does. Your big ass. 
is a walking fucking Fuck. walking fucking moment. This is true. Um, did you end up uh, chopping it up with Chris Brown at all off off of Instagram when you guys had your little back and forth? No, I wasn't really no back and forth. Bro. Regular internet shit, playing around. Regular internet shit. Mm. Just, a, just a regular day for you. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, shit, I didn't try to. I just right. Was that my fault? No. Nah. I mean, yeah. you kind of caught a stray, like you said. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you did what? You woke up and caught a stray that yeah, day. I just woke up like, what the fuck? My like, God damn. How did I get here? Yeah. What's up with you and DDG shit? You guys have like a whole fucking album pretty much done, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, shit. I don't know. I ain't shit. I don't know. I ain't know that shit right now. No idea. I'm doing this shit right here. Yo, uh, Krishan, what happened with that? Did Ruby Rose prop you up like this? All the, or, or did you prop Ru- Ruby Rose up to send out all these fucking screenshots? I'm already gonna do it. But you were you with her that day? Yeah, I was with her, but she was. Yeah, I was with her. So <laughs> tell her to tell her the real kid. Okay? Talking to the mic. Yeah, what do you mean? Tell I'm just real. curious. Were you like, yes, screenshot that shit and send it out to the world? Fuck him, girl. Did you say that? No, nah, I was like, <sighs> if it was me, no. Can, mm-hmm. can you shut the fuck up and mind your business? If it you was you, you there. what'd you tell her? If it was me, I would, like, I would let the world know that he capped. Mm. And then he, I don't know, but I'm like, what would you do? She's like, I was already thinking about it. So, so you kind of pushed her over the ledge. You were like... I wouldn't care. I don't care. Do it. I don't Do have it. no confirmation to anything to whoever in the message. What? Mm-hmm. DDG's is your friend. Those that will make him your friend in some type of way. Everybody my friend, but it's like, what you mean? Everybody can't. Be I can't friend. control a grown woman to do something. I'm not taking her phone and okay. posting it. Right. You she pushed her. How did I push? She sound dumb as shit. You sound dumb as fuck. Mm. Mm. Are you friends with Ruby? Like if I get to blame my friends a lot of this, I'm you going to like, bitch, shut the fuck up. You did it because you wanted to do it. Right. What the fuck? Oh. Uh, if. What's the uh? What? Not if it was one of your your friends that you would listen. What to. are you talking about? She was gonna do it. Me with me there or with me there not there? Like what do you mean? The fuck? Make she just happened sense. to be there. She was giving her like moral support. She was just at the crime scene. Or yeah, she didn't do anything. Uh, Safe to say, if you guys go weird. on another double date with <laughs> DDG and his lady, awkward. it'll be awkward. It'll just be weird. What? <laughs> if you guys go on a double date with a uh, with, I don't with, think that'll probably ever happen again. It's yeah, probably not. Weird. Yeah. <laughs> just fuck it. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, we know. We know. That's like, the that's the, the, the bad part. That's the bad part. Like, I don't give a fuck. I don't think I don't think you guys are gonna go to the Little Mermaid. Well, it was not that the, serious. The Little Mermaid premiere. You guys will not be getting an invite to. I don't think so. No. It'll be all right. Hey, we got to stop the interview to tell you about our good folks at Blue Chew, baby. That's right. A lot of people keep asking me, does Blue Chew work? Fuck yeah, it does. And if you don't believe me, they'll give you a whole month for free right now if you go to bluechew.com and use that promo code bootleg. That's bluechew.com, promo code bootleg. You get a month of Blue Chew for free. Delivered to your fucking house. All you do is pay $5 in shipping. What is Blue Chew, you ask? Well, let me tell you. It has the same active ingredient as Viagra and Cialis in a chewable tablet. But it is discreetly delivered right to your doorstep. No awkward doctor's visits. Imagine going and telling uh, an old guy about your dick. You would prefer not to do that. I know I'd prefer not to do that. You know, But you could do it all online. BlueChew.com. You don't have to go to the doctor's appointment in person no more. No, they're going to send it straight to your door. All right? Your wife won't even know it came. Your wife won't know that you came and it came. All right? So what you do is... You, uh, you go to bluechew.com, use the promo code bootleg, and you get a month of uh, the whole thing for free. That's right. A month's supply of Blue Chew for free, straight to your door. They also just dropped their new mint chewable, which is the same exact active ingredient as Levitra. So many options for you at Blue Chew to make sure your dick is right going into the springtime, baby. Look, spring break's coming. Uh, are you going to be coming? The real question is, is your partner going to be coming? Not with the noodle dick. Let's be honest. Make sure that shit's hard as fuck. Go to bluechew.com, use the promo code bootleg, and get a month's supply for free. And if you're dealing with erectile dysfunction, it's okay, man. It happens to the best of us. Go to Blue Chew and put a band-aid on that thing. Bluechew.com, promo code bootleg. Also, 
while we're talking about our partners. Shout out to our family at Odd Socks. Ooh, look at these Odd Socks underwear, man. They're they're half baked. So much going on at Odd Socks. Uh, so many dope licenses, man. Shout out to uh, they got Cheetos, they got Jaws, fucking Oreos, Cheech and Chong, Naruto, WWE. By the way, WrestleMania is coming. I can't wait to see what dope WrestleMania socks they do this year because last year they knocked it out the park at Odd Socks. Look, the most comfortable socks in the world. They got the Odd Socks basics that you need on your feet. Uh, all you got to do is go to oddsocksofficial.com right now. Use the promo code bootleg at checkout. You'll save 20% off your total order. Underwear, socks, shit, hats, whatever you need, they got it at Odd Socks. Uh, they just got the Coca-Cola deal. So you can go get some Coca-Cola draws, Coca-Cola socks. So much always going on at Odd Socks. I'm going to always say my favorites are the WWE and the Breaking Bad ones. Um, so go to oddsocksofficial.com right now. Use that promo code bootleg and you will save 20 percent off at checkout shout out to them most comfortable socks in the world crazy comfortable underwear my goodness if you ain't got odd socks on your feet and ass what are you doing out in these streets all right go to oddsocksofficial.com promo code bootleg save 20 percent off let's get back to the interview what's uh so what's what next fuck are you talking about yeah like i really did something like krishan curious what's like what's next with the music shit like what's coming down the pipeline besides season two of the tv show what's what, what do y'all got hmm huh what do you got coming in next? <coughs> Songs? Yeah. A baby? Season two of the show? Any uh any any other like we know he's got a restaurant. Do you have any entrepreneurial stuff going on on the side that you wanna merch? The merch? Yeah. Is the merch out? Huh? Is the merch out? Not Is yet. Coming soon? Mm-hmm. Yeah. When's your when when's the next music dropping? I mean, I guess you're the label, right? So when's she dropping some new music? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, I usually let her decide, you know, choose on which we way she want to go with it. We just but, yeah. don't give a fuck that much. And mm -hmm. then I just put all the strings together. So you're not, it's safe to say you're not passionate about music. It's not that, it's just... Or, or passionate know. about like... I come up with the dates, when to shoot, and when to... Right. No, you just got to pick one and... And say like how you want it to be. What about movies, Krishan? I feel like you would be a yeah, great. For sure, she's a good actor. I feel like you could be in some movies. She's a good hell of an actor. <laughs> Boy, I tell you, Kev. I feel like there's a lot she's going good. on right now. There's a lot. She's stabbing the table with she's the knife. Good. Cause he playing. Like, <laughs> shut up. Damn. Can you be quiet. Hmm. He said one good thing, you turn it into a joke. <laughs> What's wrong with you? No, I'm serious. Whatever. Clapping way too hard over there. Mm. You stabbing the table a little too hard over there. Oh, man. Like, you're making me worry. Can I hold that? It's, uh. I'm not ready. Mm -hmm. Stop playing with me. Mm -hmm. Stay over there. What is you doing? What would you guys say is, like, what's the last date y'all went on that was, like, not, you know. <sighs> Do you guys go on dates? Are we are we hitting the fucking bowling alley? Are we going to dinner? Like like, what's quality time with y'all two like? Quality time. Quality time. <laughs> you want to get that one? I'm always getting them. Why don't you answer any of the questions? You don't answer all the questions. Stop lying. Um, quality time. Yeah, we go bowling. I like to bowl. Uh, That's not quality time. We go eat. You do that with anybody. Well, what's quality time, Krishan? What you're a fucking, the fuck? You a fucking brat. That's what you is. Are you at least writing your name on the table as you stab it? Because at least then, if someone's like, yo, what happened to the table here? I'd be like, just read what it says. <laughs> right, right. Krishan Rock was here. Um, no, but what's quality time with y'all, Krishan? What do y'all like? Is Y'all going to uh, goddamn dinner? Is it walks on the beach? Uh, Working out? I don't know, I probably just at home for real. At the crib? Yeah. You guys live together? Yeah. Nice. What? What's up with you, Kat? What's up with you? Why are you doing weird? Oh, look at you guys. See, y'all get along, bruh. Hmm. 
How long has has because okay, obviously <laughs> let, let me see. <laughs> 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 Right now, <laughs> Get a fucking coloring book. We're gonna fucking end up with 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 a just a carved up wooden table. <laughs> uh, well, listen, man. Season two, when is that dropping? Do we know? Uh, probably like December. December. The summer. The summer. Okay, coming soon. Would you do any spinoff shows? Obviously, this is kind of like a spinoff on Zeus because she was on the other yeah, show. Yeah, he needs his own role, yeah. and it's something like Wu Tang. Yeah, I might do some shit. I like do some Blue Girls Club shit like somewhere cool. No, he's not. Unless I'm incorporated. So Blue Girls Club is coming against. So you're that's not what, allowed to. No, that's when I'm breaking up with him. He's just weird. How many times have y'all broken like, up? When people want to not, he always like. trying not to include me and shit. And you that be. be you say that now, and that's not the case. You said that before. Why wouldn't I want you in it? Because you did it before. All you, you gonna do is you make this shit big. You said it before. I asked her manager, do you think I should have her on Blue Girls Club on OnlyFans in <laughs> season four? Why is she doing the whole Zeus and the crazy in love? Like I'm she, not even doing it, so what? Are you still She's doing crazy. the OnlyFans shit? No, I just kind of like decided like to go to the I next. Yeah, it. Zeus is bigger than that, right? You single? Yeah, 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 for sure. The OnlyFans, yeah. Did you say he's single? As soon as he started. Oh. What else? Hmm. Would you guys say that you guys are on and off a lot? <laughs> He's whatever. He yeah. want to do whatever. I'm on all the time. She's off. She's on and off. Mm. Why are you lying? Yeah. Why are you lying? I'm lying. <laughs> I'm lying. Well, listen. I think you guys, I have always, uh, you know, I always tell people, Blue, I think you're a smart guy. Krishan, I think that you have to uh, understand that you have like a level of stardom right now that is very rare. And I think that y'all got to, you know, clean this shit up a little. Shut the fuck up. You are, dude. <laughs> <laughs> fuck? I'm just uh, like, I don't want nobody going to jail. I don't want, you know. I haven't been in jail since the last time I've been in jail. Well, <laughs> like, when was that? I think Valentine's Day, the last Valentine's Day. So it's been over a year. Yeah, it's been a minute. Oh, yeah. that AZ part, but like that right, was probably like six, it. seven, eight months ago. Right. Well, let's try to. Yeah, you was in Phoenix. I remember seeing. It. Let's try to stay out of jail. We got I a kid on the way. Okay. I know. Do you think motherhood is going to change you, Krishan? For change what? I don't know. Like what the fuck? I'm nothing. I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. You are like you hope so. I'm I fine. I'm fine. Uh, you need to change. It's fine. Is it safe to say everyone needs to change? Yeah. Everyone should be self improving at all times in the world, right? If you ain't getting. Okay, get... so why y'all gotta talk about me? Like I gotta be the only one that's changing. I mean, I didn't say that. I just said, do you think? I mean, f fatherhood, and motherhood changes people. So, you know. so what do you need to change you about? Change you? Me, uh, I started planning for the future a little bit more than I used to. Mm. Well, look, I just want y'all to like be safe, be healthy, a little less toxic. You guys have a lot of dope shit going on. Krishan, if you, I think if you took the music shit real serious, it'd be crazy for you. You know what I mean? <laughs> I think you would go up. I think you need to start working with some writers, some dope producers, and... No. Or if you don't want it, who gives a fuck? You know? Mm -hmm. But pivot out of this, you know, the, the reality TV shit is cool, but it's got an expiration date. You know what I mean? The music shit, the You just movies. gotta just sit back and watch, my boy. All right. You I know? mean, we always cross brand, though, like, on our show, like... Right. We, um... We, we like, executive producers, so we got more, like, say-so as far as the music in the background. Right. So... How's the novel coming over We there? always get to encore the shit. Just, huh? What do we got over there? Just your name? No, C plus J equals forever. Oh, Jonathan, my blue face. How many Jonathan-related tattoos do we have now? I just have seven. <laughs> I thought she was going to say three. I know, right? <laughs> she said, I just have seven. I do. That's, I'm stopping. I'm that's done. what I'm saying. What Let's, you mean? That's what you're saying. You don't like it? I love it. Then shut up. Mm. That's why I be tripping. Okay, you feel me? When did you realize that? Because 
the last time we did an interview was like right after when? Yeah, and I was still, I was still giving. It was like a early. year and a half ago. It was like right after the whole G wagon shit popped yeah. off, right? Right, and and Who you drove that? the G wagon across the country, <laughs> and so I was like, it looked like, oh well, shit, this is a bad situation. When did you kind of come to the realization that man, this girl's literally crazy in love for me, and we need to like, you know, explore our relationship? No, he just missed. Huh? He was mad, but he missed me. That's what happened. <laughs> what? Yeah, but he missed me. Like he when? Was mad and then he missed me. <laughs> he didn't know he was gonna get over it. That's not what he asked. Go ahead. No, I meant like what happened. Like what? What? what was How we certain? get back together? We didn't really get back together. We just started missing me. Say, I was gonna say like, say when it. did you realize like this? She's the one I'm gonna be with. She's the one I'm gonna, you know. After uh, that interview in Chicago. When uh shit. You like come live with me. Why I think it was like like last summer. Mm. Like literally like recently, like April. And what were like, your well, like, when you first saw the th- this tattoo, blue? It's a thing right there. You know, that's mm-hmm. a that's a real sign of love. Mm-hmm. What was your reaction? Um, you didn't give a fuck about it, did you? It was no, I wasn't with you. I thought I thought it was a Dope shit. I thought shit. And I your it. your Krishan face tattoo's coming soon. I don't really, I don't do it mm. for him. I don't care. Mm. I'm not really a face tattoo type of person. You literally have Benjamin Franklin's face tattooed on your body twice. I'm looking at both of them right now. Yeah, way more than twice. And Why you, are you trying to bleed <laughs> me like that, kid? That's and crazy. Just saying bullshit, trying to be funny. Just say for real. Be for real. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. I'm looking. You're like, I wouldn't get no one's face tattooed on my body except an old white man who who died 200 years ago. Oh, by the way, twice. Cut his fucking mic. He's a clown. Well, listen, man. I'm excited for y'all to uh, step into uh, parenthood together. What? Mm-hmm. I keep giving you kisses. You don't deserve one. <laughs> Look what you didn't do. Listen, remember, everything's about the kid. You got guys my, got, got my little rock, rock man. Now. You guys got a fucking been there, this whole video. You guys got a baby on the way, so I'm excited for y'all to be uh, obviously parents to a new kid. Ew, yeah, yeah. <laughs> when is the due date? Do oh we know? Oh my god. Of the, of the, Mind your damn business. <laughs> All right. Well. Shout out to Krishan Rock and Blueface. Season two of Crazy in Love, Summertime. Baby, soon. Music, soon. I'm high, bro. Don't take this interview too serious. It's all good, man. Appreciate y'all pulling up. Mm-hmm. Krishan, thank you for not breaking anything except the table. I'll take that. Yeah, that's good. That's like a message. And actually, this it, table going to be worth a million dollars. Yep. At an auction. There it is. We're going to frame it. If we ever get rid of the table, we're going to cut that square out and put it on the wall. (laughs) Thanks for coming through, though. Damn, that's lit. (laughs) Boom.